Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. In this video, we're going to be doing the corrugated wet sediment test. We'll be using high octane FDM pipe for this, and the soil and sediment will be completely saturated with water before putting it around and in this pipe. So basically, we're packing this pipe with mud. Let's get started. As you can see, I have a five gallon bucket full of sediment, sand, and dirt that is completely saturated with water. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this around the outer portion of the pipe, and then I'll pack it inside the pipe. Now, the last video that I did that I'll go ahead and link in the description below in case you're interested in that and you would like to watch it, the point of that video is trying to show that corrugated pipe is going to move water a lot more efficiently in a French drain opposed to a PVC perforated pipe because PVC only has holes on the bottom. And once those holes get covered and packed in with sediment, water can no longer enter that pipe. The difference with corrugated pipe, which I'm trying to demonstrate in these videos, is that corrugated pipe has perforations 360 degrees around the entire pipe meaning water can still find its way in even if there is sediment gathered at the bottom of the pipe that has blocked some of the perforations. So you are still able to continue to move water in your French drain if sections of the pipe have been compromised with silt and sediment. That is the point of these videos, to demonstrate that. I'm going to go ahead and just let this video run, and I'm going to talk about perforated PVC pipe a little bit more. But as you continue to watch this video, you'll see once I add the water into this demonstration, it's going to pretty much instantly make it into those perforations and find its way through the pipe. And it's gonna start moving sediment and dirt throughout this pipe in this demonstration. Now, let's talk about perforated PVC and let me try to answer some questions, some common questions. Some people ask, well, why can't you just drill more holes in the PVC pipe so that it does have holes 360 degrees around the entire thing. So when the manufacturers make PVC pipe perforated, notice how they only put the holes on the bottom. The reason for this is because every hole that you drill in PVC pipe, you're weakening that pipe. PVC is rigid. It can crack, it can break under a lot of stress and strain. So it has its strength because of how rigid it is, but that's also its weakness as well. And the more holes you drill in that PVC pipe, the weaker it's gonna become in those sections. So there's actually talk and debate in the drainage community and in the industry about, it's probably better if you are gonna use PVC pipe for a French drain, that you get the one with the holes that are only on the side and does not have the hole running down the middle. The reason for this is because that hole that runs down the entire middle, the holes face down in a French drain because water rises. When you have those holes on that perforated PVC pipe facing down, that's a, that's a long weak point at the bottom of your pipe running the entire way. So if there's weight above that pipe pushing down on it, that's gonna be the failure point in that pipe is that bottom section with those holes. Now, the holes on the side is a little bit better because force isn't going down on it. So it is said that if you are going to use PVC for a French drain, it's best to use the one that only has the holes on the side and keep the integrity and the strength of the bottom of your pipe and keep that free of holes. So... There's a reason the manufacturers don't put holes 360 degrees around the pipe, and that's because they know that it would weaken it way too much and there'd be too many collapses and failures within a matter of years with these, with these systems if they were to do that. So that's the first thing. Now, the other thing is whenever you're installing PVC for a French drain, notice there's always a base layer of stone that goes down on the bottom of the trench you know, on the, on the bottom of the geotextile filter fabric, you put a, a base layer of stone and then you set your pipe on top of that with the holes facing down. The reason for this base layer of stone is so that you have 
an inch or so of area below the pipe where sediment and silt can gather over the years. And it basically, it acts as a trap for that sediment and silt. So it has to fill up that base layer of stone first before it starts entering the pipe. So what this is doing is it's buying your system time. How much time? Nobody knows. It depends on the sediment, depends on the soil. It, there's a lot of variables that go into it. it. Depends on site conditions. So that's buying your French drain. It's buying your perforated PVC pipe time by having a base layer of stone underneath it. But once that stone layer fills up with sediment, it'll continue to rise in there and then it'll make its way into the perforations of the PVC pipe and it'll start clogging it. So that's the reason for a base layer of stone. With corrugated pipe, we put that pipe at the bottom of the trench. We don't worry about a base layer of stone because the perforations are 360 degrees around the entire thing. We're not worried about it. Water's going to find its way in there somehow. And even when silt and sediment builds up at the bottom of a corrugated pipe, the water still is finding its way in because those perforations go all the way around it. So even if we lose our perforations at the bottom half of the pipe, we still have a whole nother half of perforations that water can find its way into. Now, the other thing too is by putting that pipe at the bottom of the trench, you are evacuating out as much water as possible. So you don't have water sitting in your French drain. And that is a good thing because one, if there is shrubs and trees in the area, they're going to sniff that water out and try to get into them. You want to try to evacuate as much water out as possible. Now, the thing with PVC is there's only perforations on the bottom. So there's no perforations on the top or the sides. I mean, on the sides a little bit towards the bottom, but we just call it the bottom in the industry. There's no perforations around this pipe. So what you have is called a greenhouse effect. And this takes place in PVC pipes. You see it in sanitary sewer systems. You see it in storm drainage systems. Basically, the pipe sweats on the inside in PVC because you don't have any airflow that goes through that pipe. With corrugated pipe that has slots or perforations around the entire thing, this allows for more airflow. It allows for the system to vent up. So you get less of a greenhouse effect going on in corrugated pipe that's perforated opposed to perforated PVC. PVC pipe that's perforated still has that greenhouse effect. Now, why do you think the greenhouse effect matters? Well, for starters, in the dry season when it's not raining and when the system would have a chance to dry out, perforated PVC pipe has a lot harder time drying out because it doesn't have those perforations on the top and all around the pipe. So it continues to have a greenhouse effect year round. And what this leads to is growth of all kinds of organics, iron ore, iron ock, different algaes, different gels, different things will grow in that pipe. And those can create issues and clogs and hinder the performance of that pipe as well. So these are just a few things I'm trying to answer in this video. This video is probably going to actually be a lot longer than I had first anticipated it to be, but so be it. The final thing I want to end this video on is that I'm not against using PVC for downspout systems, catch basins, channel drains, anything that requires a solid pipe. I think PVC is fine to use as long as you're in a climate that accepts it. Now, if you're up north where you're experiencing a lot of freezes and thaws, and frost heave and the ground moving and that pipe has to be buried shallow because it's a yard drain and you can't get below the frost line then i wouldn't recommend using pvc if you want to use a smooth interior pipe use dual wall dual wall you get the benefits of hdpe where it can expand and contract with your freezes and thaws and the frost heave so it can move with the ground and it's a smooth walled interior pipe but if I was working jobs up north, then no, I wouldn't be using PVC. Here in Florida, we install PVC all the time because we don't have to worry about that. 
But for French drains, I never install PVC because it doesn't make any sense to use PVC because corrugated pipe with perforations 360 degrees around the entire pipe makes so much more sense to use. And from what I have seen being in this industry now for nine years, it doesn't, to, for me, it makes, it doesn't make any sense to use PVC for French drains. That's why we don't do it. We strictly use corrugated pipe for our French drains. We also use a lot of corrugated pipe for roof runoff systems, catch basin systems, channel drains, things like that, because it works as well, as long as we have the pitch that we need in the ground. Do we still use PVC for those systems as well here in Florida? Yes, we do, because we can and we can get away with doing that. But I will tell you this, corrugated pipe is a much more budget-friendly pipe for our customer compared to PVC. But if we have a client that wants PVC and that's what their heart is set on, then absolutely we will install it. Or if I'm on a job site and I determine, look, we need to use a smooth-walled pipe here because of the conditions that we're working in, the amount of slope that we have, the amount of water that we are dealing with, maybe we need that extra smooth wall to be able to move more water, then we will go ahead and we will explain that to the client and we will quote out a smooth wall pipe. It doesn't necessarily have to be PVC, it could be dual wall. It's my opinion that HDPE is going to be the future material used in both drainage lines and water lines. But that's a topic for a whole nother video. But if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It really supports what we're doing. It helps the channel out. We appreciate all the positive feedback and comments that we get. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Try to keep it civil, please. And if you need drainage in the Tampa Bay area, whether it's residential or commercial, give Stormwater Drainage Solutions a call at 813-614-3456. We got you covered. Until next time, this is SWDS signing off.